Well, the future of the Dayton region could be in unmanned aerial systems, and our region's colleges and universities could play a vital role as we attempt to expand our aerospace capabilities. Dan Edwards has a preview of a story he's working on for tonight. Dan? Well, Holly, according to officials who are charged with landing one of these six highly coveted UAS test sites here, they tell me that this technology could sustain the Dayton region for many years to come. Joe Zeese from the Dayton Development Coalition told me that recently that one of the main reasons that makes our region so attractive is a tremendous workforce. We have it right, Pat. Inside and outside the gates, teams of engineers have the capabilities already to not only design, build, and fly UASs, but to also capture data and communicate it throughout the world. Another key component is the association our military has with our local colleges and universities who are working now to train the workforce to drive these UAS programs effectively and efficiently into the future. Look at leading edge uh, colleges and universities here that are already engaged in the UAS system, Sinclair Community College, the Advanced Technical Intelligence Center, working data analytics and training data analysts, the University of Dayton, Wright State University with the miniature UASs. We're all about Sorry. producing the right talent and in generating innovation. That's the future of the world economy. And we're positioned in the state and region to be at the forefront. We can come go back to 100 years ago when we were the leaders of innovation, Silicon Valley became. But with aeronautical systems and so forth, we could become, we could regain that, that prestige and that um, reputation in the next this century. Well, join me tonight when I'll take a closer look at how our local educational institutions could be the key to landing an industry it's estimated it will generate over $100 billion in the next 20 years. Reporting live, Dan Edwards, 2 News Today.